Hello, Slotherin and adult fans of LEGO. It's time for another exciting episode of Sloth City. And today in Sloth City, we have so many exciting new things that it's hard to know where to start. But I've decided to start with our awesome and fabulous medical evacuation helicopter that has come to Sloth City. And it has come to Sloth City via an, an incredibly exciting set. It is Jack Stone Air Operations Headquarters. It is number 4620. And if we look at that, it is incredibly nifty. And it comes with a vehicle, which I have modified. And it comes with an awesome airplane. And it comes with the awesome helicopter. And it comes with the awesome what turned into the artificial intelligence and robot center. But what they had intended as some sort of an airporty sort of thing. So, let's take a look at these awesome things. We have seen the helicopter, but if we go over here, you can see the awesome, awesome airplane. And that is unusual in that it does not have the clear windows. It has opaque windows and doors and things. It does open up if you want to stash cargo or people into it, but I think that that would be kind of a waste of time because nobody would be able to see them. But it has this awesome color scheme. It's got the green, it's got the blue, it's got the yellow with the white. It has these extremely unusual... Uh, neon yellow green pieces instead of the traditional red and yellow lights on the wings and I might trade those out for the traditional colors or I might not. It has awesome extremely shiny propeller things for its jets or motors or however it propels itself. I know that that has something to do with it but I have very little idea how I really don't know a thing about planes. Don't crucify me for that. It's just the way it is. So, we have a helicopter. We have an awesome plane. What else do we have? We have this awesome car that I mentioned that I had modified to make it more useful for Sloth City. And it has this awesome new citizen, this new snake dude who does not seem to be a Ninjago snake dude. He is apparently a Chima snake dude, and that makes him special. And I think that he is nifty, but he was not sticking around for any sort of introductions. He was already making friends, and now he has himself a new friend, that awesome blue-haired dude. And who knows, at the rate things happen in Sloth City, the way the happy couples pair off... Next thing you know, they're going to be adopting a dog. So, let's take a look at this awesome artificial intelligence and robot headquarters. It is absolutely splendiferous. I think it came out so absolutely cool. I just can't even tell you how cool I think it is. Over here we have Brother Butt Chop and Brother Brett. And they have been escorting our esteemed friend and guest, Solbrick, uh, around the town, giving him the personal touch and letting him see all the sights, and have brought him to the marvelous opening of the Artificial Intelligence and Robot Center so he can see how absolutely up-to-date and futuristic and modern and inclusive Sloth City is. And that is why everybody wants to come to Sloth City, is because of the inclusivity of it. Everybody is welcome here. And that is why all of the robots and androids want to come here. Because here they are not enslaved, endurance, vile. Instead, they are free. They are free to live their own lives they are free to have their own friends. They are free to imbibe their own intoxicating coolants that cool down their circuits and make them go all boogly-woogly. They love everything about Sloth City, and they love most 
that they have been given this awesome artificial intelligence and robotic center where they can have their charging stations, they can get their charge on like these fine robotic and android citizens are. We have three in each of these bays, and then we have two of the super jumbo, uh, for the super jumbo sized androids and robots. And here we have the awesome and talented Daphne, who will be in charge of upkeep and repairs and assisting anybody who needs help with, with, with upkeep and repairs. And if you notice there, that's Gwen, Gwen of M Productions, little circle of friends who are hanging back and and admiring as she chats up the lovely Daphne. And they are just making all kinds of friends. They have things in common, not just color scheme. They, 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 they're excited to meet one another. And that is why Gwen dragged M Productions and Deke and Eeyore over here to the opening of the Artificial Intelligence and Robot Center. Not because she thought that they would be interested. She didn't think that they'd be interested. But she wanted an excuse to come over here and chat up the beautiful and intelligent Daphne. So, we have that awesome, awesome new Android and Robot Center. And it has this awesome and cool thing for transmitting awesome android and robot signals to all of the androids and robots on their special circuitry that does not interfere with other circuitry. It's on their own channels. And you do not need to worry that they are going to be taking over the world or taking over the city. They are not, well, they might be interested in doing that, but they're not interested in doing it in Sloth City. Because they love Sloth City. Everybody loves Sloth City. Who wouldn't love Sloth City? It is so inclusive and so considerate of the different needs of the different demographics of Sloth City. That's why all the robots and all of the aliens want to come here. As you can see, we have new Martian citizens who have come to Sloth City we have a new um, Krang who has come to Sloth City. And I don't know if that's a race or a family name. But there is, um, we'll at least go with Mr. Krang on his mobility device. And here we have the legendary um, Metal Beard. And he also has his own sort of mobility device because we are not discriminating in Sloth City, even though I have not purchased any sets that have wheelchairs in them. We have other sort of people whose mobility might be compromised if they do not have their mobility devices. And so... Any mobility devices that you need, Sloth City will make accommodations so that you can get around and you can do what you want to do. And Sloth City has done all this for the robots and androids just so that they would have their own place where they could get their charge on and they could socialize and they could have their own personal and private lives and social lives uh, that may or may not include humans and non-humans. I mean, sure, they're friendly, and sure, they want to have human and non-human friends, but they also want to have the opportunity to interact with friends of their own kind. And that's why we have the Artificial Intelligence and Robot Center. And that's why we have so many other different 
buildings in sloth cities so that everybody can have their needs met. That's why we put in this marvelous library that is now freshly closed up and has all kinds of bookcases in it. If you look close in through any of the windows, you can see bookcases and books everywhere. It is absolutely awesome. And the front has been closed up and the front facade is no longer going to fall off if you look at it wrong. And now we have a proper sort of a top for a library with a book instead of the weird pink gem that was absolutely more suited for something like, oh, the gem and crystal shop, which, as you can see, is now looking absolutely fabulous and is now becoming one of the most iconic buildings in Sloth City. It is absolutely unique. You've never seen anything like it, have you? No, you have not. So, that has that to make it more iconic and fabulous. Sloth City has the artificial intelligence and robot center to make it more fabulous. It has this awesome library to make it more fabulous that isn't quite done. There are still things to be done with the second and third floor, but it is looking a lot closer to completed. So I think now that you have met the new citizens in Sloth City, and now that you have seen all of the splendid new accoutrements we have for Sloth City. I think that I am going to wrap up this episode of Sloth City. Thank you for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next... Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to tell you. I also have something else from this Jack Stone set that I haven't even shown you yet. Sorry that the camera is moving around. I had to pull it out here. It is a fabulous, let me set this down and focus on it. A fabulous Jack Stone airway that is a fold out printed piece of cardboard, the likes of which you probably have not seen before. There it is unfolded. It is the size of six 32 by 32 stud base plates. It is the size of a block, two base plates by three base plates. And if you look closely, it's not just the camera angle and the fact that it's not lying flat. It does not have the normal right angles that you are so used to in Lego. It has different, more oblique and acute angles going on, and things going off in odd angles. And I thought that that was just so innovative and exciting, and I wish that they had made more things like that just to change things up and have less of the grid system going on. And what I am considering doing is putting that into Sloth City, using it as the airfield for my airport, and then, in turn, taking these airport pieces and using them in the city for more streets. Because, of course, I am constantly having to deal with, you know, kind of hodgepodge of pieces that are not ideal. And yes, I love them because they are vintage, but it would be nice if they connected up a little bit better and that would free up more base plates that I could use for city streets. So that is what I am considering doing and I'm interested to hear your opinion in the matter. And now that I have shown you that, I think that that has finally wrapped everything up and I will finish up with the 
Thank you for coming to Sloth City. I hope you join me in the next episode of Sloth City. Until then, Slothrin and adult fans of LEGO, you have a fabulous and awesome day.